Are you preparing for the principles and practice of engineering or the PE exam, but worried about the cost? Look no further. In this week's Pass the PE Exam video, I'll share some top tips and strategies on how to ace the PE exam without breaking the bank. From budget-friendly study materials to effective time management techniques, we've got you covered. Whether you're a recent graduate or a working professional, this video is perfect for anyone looking to pass the PE exam on a budget. So what are you waiting for? Watch now and start your journey to becoming a licensed professional engineer. When it comes to the PE exam, many aspiring engineers face the challenge of expensive study materials and courses, which can be a significant barrier to success. However, it's a common misconception that passing the PE exam requires spending a fortune on prep courses and materials. The truth? There are plenty of affordable resources that can help you prepare effectively without breaking the bank. In fact, many people have successfully passed the exam using free or low course resources. They just knew where to look and how to use them. The financial burden of preparing for the PE exam can be overwhelmed, leading to stress and anxiety, especially for those already managing tight budgets. Many feel stuck, unable to afford costly resources. The good news is, you don't need to spend a lot of money to pass the PE exam. The key is to be really strategic in utilizing the resources available to you. By focusing on affordable or free options, you can reduce financial strain, minimize stress, and channel your energy into what truly matters, passing the PE exam. In this video, I want to run through four affordable resources to consider in your PE exam preparation efforts. Number one, free online courses. High quality free or low cost online courses are widely available and can provide a solid foundation for your study. These courses are often taught by experienced instructors who understand the exam's requirements and offer insights to help you succeed. Number two, study groups. Joining a study group can be incredibly beneficial. These groups create a supportive community of peers preparing for the same exam that offers motivation, accountability, and of course, shared resources. I was in a study group and it was immensely helpful for me. Number three, library resources. Local libraries often provide free access to textbooks, practice exams, and other study material. Many libraries also offer online study, allowing you to prepare effectively without any financial burden. Number four, NCWES platform. Take advantage of the NCWES platform, which provides free practice problems and materials designed specifically for the PE exam. These resources are directly aligned with the exam format and content, giving you a reliable way to prepare. By using these official materials, you can familiarize yourself with the question types and test structure, significantly increasing your chances of success. The key to success lies in finding the right combination of resources and techniques that match your learning style and budget. Everyone learns differently, so it's important to experiment with various options to create a personalized study plan for you. Passing the PE exam isn't about how much money you can spend. It's about how to effectively use the resources available to you. By being resourceful and strategic, you can achieve your goal without sacrificing your financial stability or peace of mind. By leveraging these cost-effective strategies, including the NCWS platform, you can prepare for the PE exam with confidence, knowing that you're on the path to success without the heavy financial burden. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a topic you want me to cover or a specific question that you need answered. Past the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE Exam.